Hello, violinists and violists. My name is Peter Cannon. I'm a product of the Menomont School, the Juilliard School, and 30 years in a professional symphony orchestra. I've been playing the violin for 57 years. And during that time, I've played the violin incorrectly for many, many of those years. I've held the violin in the beginning with a shoulder rest, without a shoulder rest, uh, almost in any position imaginable. But more recently, I've discovered something that helped me play so much better than I've ever played in my entire life that I thought I'd share this with you. This invention is called the chin rest lip, and that's exactly what it is. It's an ergonomically shaped piece of foam rubber that adheres to the back edge of your chin rest and helps you hold the violin up comfortably, securely, without a shoulder rest and without even the use of your left hand. Let me show you how. Okay, voila. Now the violin is on my body, no shoulder rest, no left hand, and easy to hold. My very first teacher used to tell me that there were only two things keeping me from being the greatest violinist in the world, my right hand and my left hand. And for that simple reason, this chin rest lip will aid in both functions. The first function, the left hand, obviously helps because you now are not holding the violin up with your hand and you have freedom of movement on the fingerboard for the first time. Your hand can go everywhere easily and shifting is easy in both upward and downward directions. The arm has certain characteristics that are important to playing the violin at its highest level. For one thing, you must use the natural arm weight to produce tone instead of pinching or squeezing the first finger into the bow like this. If you use the arm weight, the sound is better and more individual. And every great violinist in the past knew this. That's why they didn't use the shoulder rest. Violinists like Heifetz, Elman, Chrysler, Perlman, Milstein, Francis Scotti, the list goes on and on, Grumio, Aaron Roseanne, and even any Sophie Mutter. They held the violin without a shoulder rest so that the height of the strings can remain on the proper level in relation to their bow arm. This position of, is the optimum position of the bow arm, meaning that the left clavicle is the same height as the right shoulder, right elbow, and right wrist, all in one plane. It allows for the natural arm weight to be at its optimum weight. And let me prove that to you. If you raise your arm high above your head, keeping your right shoulder low, and just let the arm drop naturally, it, you will feel that the arm has weight, and that heavy slap that you just heard against my thigh proves it. Now, if I were to raise my arm to a higher height, in, and thus raising the shoulder, and I'll do the same thing, dropping my arm, you'll see that there's no weight in my arm and the slap against my side is very light. So this is a very important feature in producing sound on a violin. In other words, the violin, if the string height is on this level, the proper starting position of the bow arms level, then you don't have to pinch or squeeze because you have the natural arm weight already. And let me prove to you the point I'm trying to make. If you use a shoulder rest like this, you're going to raise the string height to a higher position on your body. So let's start by taking, holding the bow in the middle of the bow, in the middle of the stick. And we'll put the arm at the proper starting position, which is allowing your arm to have its optimum weight. And that position is that the, the clavicle, right shoulder, right elbow, and right wrist are all in one plane. Now, 
I will put the violin with the shoulder rest on my body and you will see that if I move the tip of the bow gently towards the violin that the bow is substantially lower than the string height. So it obviously shows that if I have to play with the shoulder rest I have to raise my right arm even as little as an inch to get my arm to get the bow on the same string height. Now if I were to do the same thing with a violin without a shoulder rest I will first start by putting my bow in the starting position and then I will put my violin up with it without a shoulder rest and I'll move the tip of the bow closer to the violin and you can see that the, the bow is now perfectly aligned with the strings. This perfect string height will allow every performer to play with the fullest, most individual sound just like the greatest violins in the world. Aaron Roseanne and Annie Sophie Mutter talk about it extensively on the internet. You can Google their names and you can read the articles they've written about the subject. It's the most important thing for your bow to have the weight of the arm produce the sound and not the smaller muscles of your fingers or hand. These only produce a pinch sound, which is not optimum. So, of all the wonderful violinists I've known in my lifetime, and I've had opportunity to study alongside of, to perform with, watch live, and even to watch on YouTube, I've reduced my observations of playing the instrument at the highest level to one fundamental common denominator. The common denominator that all great violinists possess is that they hold the violin properly in relationship to their body. When the violin is sitting correctly on the body, the least amount of manipulations are required to play the instrument at the highest level. You want to play the instrument without manipulating your small muscles of the hand or fingers. You want to just be able to go down enough to draw the bow. In conclusion, the chin rest lift will help you hold the violin more comfortably and more securely than you ever held it before. And it will give you the opportunity to produce the best sound you ever had without forcing. To find out more about our product, please go to our website, www.thechinrestlip.com. In that website, there's a tutorial section that describes exactly what I've talked about in this video. And you can look at that, read that, and you can order a box of lips that come in this box. And you'll order a test set, I hope, of the three different heights that our chin rest lip comes in, low, medium, and high. Once you know which height is suitable for your own body, then you can reorder another set and just choose which color you like because our chin rest lip comes in three different colors, dark brown, light brown, and black. The same colors as everybody's chin rest. So enjoy the product. I know you will. And you can make comments in the comment section. I'd love to hear from all of you. And I just hope that you love our product as much as we do. And we know it's going to help the entire world of violin and viola playing. And we just want you to enjoy it and tell us all about how much you've improved. Thank you very much.